draw more than one of this, but maybe that's wrong. Um, but it pairs well with a Darkest Command, Becomments, uh, Mutagenic Growth, um, and potentially Boros Charm. Um, Bushwhacker also pumps it, so you get two mana. We have Manamorphose, which you can flash back and then cast spells after you attack. Um, and then we have Manamorphose for Prowess Creature. We don't have Goblin Guide, instead I'm trying Soulscar Mage. So it's kind of like hybrid, hybrid Bushwhacker deck slash prowess deck um and the white is mostly for wild and coddle but we have two boros charms we have some paths for protection from red guards and then i've get a t for combo stuff and voice for fair decks that are trying to interact on our turn um so yeah let's just get it going it should be fast um and yeah i plan on i think i'm just gonna stream with this deck tonight it's gonna be a short stream and it probably will go by rather quickly I don't know how much winning we'll do, but I'm gonna try. I I don't. This deck doesn't look super powerful. It it probably is just a worse burn, um, but it can do some kind of broken stuff. And I mostly just want to play different Dreadheart Arcanist decks because this card seems pretty powerful, and I want to try to figure it out a bit more. Um, and I've mostly been playing it in fair decks with like cantrips and stuff, or like Balti decks. Winning the die roll is always good. Mm, we have our Temple Garden, which is not the best, but I think this is a keep. This hand's kind of strong, right? We get Stomping Ground. And then we can play Arcanist and just, like, kill them next turn. Or not, not next turn, but the third turn. <laughs> so this is so this represents ah, this represents a lot of damage. I'm not gonna do the math. I'm just gonna Oh wow, okay. Um I'll just attack for one and then play Burning Tree and Arcanist. This is like a lot of damage. <laughs> Hopefully they just don't play an interactive card and then play like uh Stone Forge Mister or something. Mm, okay. They could have Spell Snare in their deck. It's not that big of a deal unless they have like two in their hand. They could have Path as well. Sure. Okay, so we might be dead. That'd be unfortunate. Because our hand was so strong and we're on the play. So there aren't there aren't too many decks that can kill you in turn two of this format, but it includes pure steel paladin and neoform. But maybe they maybe they miss, I don't know. I assume they're just gonna play a mox opal and then like a retract. But I mean we could do math on how much damage this would have been. They're just equipping, okay. Maybe we can still kill him. Hmm. Tarkus Command, a Tarkus Command, so that's six. Um, and then it's two on these things that won't be blocked. I guess it doesn't matter. The travel doesn't matter. Um, this is going to be blocked, right? Because it'll be the biggest. You just attack with everyone. I thought Darkest Command first. So let's do... God, there's so many modes. Alright, so three damage and then pump your guys. I don't know if this is good enough. I don't think that is. I think it's gonna be close, but they're gonna live with like however much life. So we attack again. Eh, maybe it is right. So what this is three eleven. Okay, so they go to eleven off the three damage from this. I may as well just attack all. 
matter of much else. Just stupid math. Cast this. Three damage. All more creatures. That's eleven. They block here. Seven. This is exactly lethal. Wow. Turn three for two sixteen, or whatever that's worth. All right. So none of these cards really matter. I guess I want. Does they have paradox cloud come. Any creature interaction I can get. Smash isn't even that good. Let me look up your still list. I think it's just. Uh, Recall, repeal, retract. So I guess the smashes are okay. I can counter like a repeal. Uh, I don't think Mulgrain's good. Let's do anything. We could have Monastery Mentor, but we're boarding our paths anyway. This stops Mox Opal, so that's important. Maybe the Soul Scar Mages on the draw. Probably want, I want all my creature interaction. I could just outboard in the Smashes. Enough random trash. Let's try this, I guess. Sounds just terrible. And it was terrible. Um, well, while in the cuddle, I went collector roof. So it's either a target's commander bolt. I, I think it's. Uh, I think if I just answer their creatures, I should win. to this and just pure steel plus do a bunch of shit will be good for them so i guess i'm gonna play wall nikata only but we'll see what we draw i don't know i don't want to be overly conservative but maybe this is stupid maybe this is like one of the only ways i lose
Or... No, they're not. They don't want to discard the hands. That's okay. How much damage does that represent? It's three, four, five, five, ten, twelve. I got a six. They're dead to any land. Maybe they could just kill me. I could attack them for five. I still have bolt up. I don't think I need to do anything crazy. I guess. What do they even do? I'm just overthinking it. I'm not even thinking about what they could actually do. I, I guess they could like play a bunch of stuff, but the opal doesn't give Wars are coming. Okay. Sure. Now they're just dead, right? Well, that was an uneventful game. I'd have to think about it more, but I, I don't think I had to play the way I did. Paladin at its finest. Seven. I guess Death Shadow looks like. I think that's probably a pretty good matchup. Land. If I draw a red one drop, it doesn't matter enough. I guess I'll leave up growth in case I want to counter lightning bolt with it. It's kind of nice being the aggro player versus Death Shadow because you don't really have to think too much. They do basically the entire game from turn two to forward. Yeah, I mean, this hand's completely absurd if we just draw land. Could have drawn a discard spell, or is it title of color? Just whatever. I'll put the game bushwhacker. basically. They're 
kind of a big death shadow, but hopefully they don't have like two things to play. Redland. Because if I draw Boros Charm, I want to be able to cast it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't do that first. I'm really bad. <laughs> Alright, I missed a point. That could come up. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just forgot my wall and cattle needed a point. Used to doing stuff in min phase 2. That was really bad. Nine. Hopefully it's not like three death shadows. Whatever is fine. One death shadow. Okay. Um, I think I'm just supposed to jam and hope that I don't die to battle rage death shadow. I can just offer the trade for the Sculler. But I think I should just attack while my attacks are decent before the Giver gets online. So they want to lightning bolt the um, burn commissary, and the only way they get me is if they have a street rate. But if I just let everything happen, I just I get my bushwhacker back, and then I have growth bushwhacker potentially. So. Maybe they're just setting up battle rage to kill me. So let's see, this way, if I growth and they bolt. Alright, so I'm just gonna let this happen. Sack Ranger Captain my upkeep, but I can still just draw a burn spell now. Huh. Okay. Alright. Not excited. I mean, that was lucky, but I wonder if they could have played differently. Whatever, I'll take it. Alright, um, I think the voices are actually kind of good. Um, they're not exciting, but I, they're okay. And maybe Molt Rain's decent on the play. I don't think I want another draw, though. Um, I could smash, like, Skuller, but I think it's pretty bad, so. Uh, what do we want to trim? Oh, we don't need to become immense. I think I want most of my burn. Trim, two soul scar mage. Guess one mutagenic growth. I think 
I think it's just too easy for them to have discard interaction become a mess sort of liability. Try this. Happy to steal game one. So I like to steal it. All right, that's a keep. Um, deck's actually not that good versus discard, which makes sense if you think about it. Yeah. Guess I'm just gonna get a mountain probably. I think they're gonna take. I don't know what they're gonna take actually. I don't think taking the one drop makes a ton of sense because it's just a shadow. Um, so maybe path or burning tree. I guess those would be my guesses. Bushwhacker's kind of slow without burning tree. Yeah, they could just have Skuller. I'm just gonna get a mountain. I don't think I'll need to double path. My life total isn't relevant in this matchup. If they just like, you know, call the fact that I didn't have like a burn spell and block here, it's pretty bad. So I'm just gonna do it now. I don't think it matters a ton giving them a land. It's not good because they have so many deep spells, so it means you're gonna get a double spell. But Captain the Death Shadow would probably be the worst thing they could do. I don't think I'm winning this game. Um, I don't really know. Their, their hand just has to be so bad for me to be able to get their Plague Engine here. Okay, well, it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, they could have a cool spell over Death Shadow. Oh. Alright. Um. Well, I could just play Burning Tree and then use one of my lands. Kind of like that, or then just path now. If I path now, I'm going to 10. Maybe it's better to just path. Two, two in a play, it doesn't look great. Probably gonna die. <sighs> it's just annoying. It's not really that big of a deal. Being able to path a death shadow is super relevant though. They would have played it right, so they don't have a death shadow, so maybe just applying pressure is more important. I guess I'm gonna hope they don't draw Death Shadow or Ranger Captain. I can just get enough beatdown in that I can top deck burn. I mean, even making them tap this land has some value in it too. Alright.
10. I don't think they have Death Shadow. I don't think they have Ranger Captain. So they drew Death Shadow and... Ooh, I guess they drew... Two? Unless I'm just off base and they didn't want to play them as 1-1. One, one. So they can make theirs 4s. I guess I should just pass. I guess I just want to put a land into play and deal three to them. I don't think pumping my guys will do much, and I, I think I need to throw the damage to the face. I think they have Battle Rage because of how bad bad their hand has looked. Um, but I was wrong last time, so alright. Opponents can't gain life, I don't care about that. Three damage, but land. One forty-seven. Don't think it's super likely. Let's see. Oh, they went to three. Okay. Well, now we have more outs. That's really stupid. We just... All right. Well, we died. We just tapped one of these lands. I don't know. That was a horrible play by my opponent. Okay. All right. Um, do I want to change anything? On the play. So, the fact that they have a double white 3 drop at their deck makes Molten Rain not the worst. But I still think it's probably too bad. The Molten Rains were pillages. I also only have 19 lands in my deck. I have Path to Exile, a bit of a Nambo. I'm just gonna leave things the way they are. Yeah. I think it, again, I think it just comes down to mostly um, how much discard they have. Oof. So this hand. Uh, so if I draw a red source, it's okay. But like, I, if I knew I was gonna double one drop, it'd be an easy keep. But I have to get Temple Garden if I want to play Nakatl and have Path up. If I don't hit my land, my turn, my game is probably Temple Garden, Nakatl, Nakatl, wait for another land. And having a discard spell is also bad for me. I could just keep and hope, hope to hit a land. They're gonna take Path, I guess. We hit a land, we go Nakatl into Nakatl, Nakatl. This was your Nakatl and Darkest Command. It might be worth keeping. What do I really want? That's so bad. So if I get a Temple Garden, every land in my deck is red. So if I draw a land, it'll be a red source. Mm. 
I honestly don't know. Mulligan. Hands horrible. Have to keep it though. Yeah. I, I probably should have kept the first hand. It looks like a bad keep, but I think it's actually good. Mulliganing versus a whatever 18 land, 8 discard deck is not great anyway. It does stuff. Like the hand, the other hand would have done nothing. It would have been like 2 2 and a 2 2, but if I hit a land, it would be pretty strong. So. They didn't have a discard spell, but I have zero pressure, so it doesn't really matter. That helps. Seven points of burn. Path and bolt for Skuller. And Soul Scar Ranger is a good draw. If it gets to live, it'll be nice if it dies. Obviously, that's not good. Shark. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I, I wanted to try a different shell for Dreadhorde Arcanist, so we're just playing the Darkest Command Dreadhorde Arcanist pile. Um, and I'm, I'm trying the prowess stuff. So I have Manamorphos um, and just a bunch of spells. Try to make these larger, and then the Darkest Command Dreadhorde Arcanist with prowess creatures just makes them like six power pretty quickly. Lingering Souls. It's really annoying. Okay. So they kind of have to double block, and if they double block, I either board. So I, maybe this is just gonna put a one jump mode, and I don't have to do much. Okay. All of a sudden, they're just kind of dead, though, right? I have eight, eleven points of damage. I think I just Manamorphose Boros Charm then. So I draw Mutagenic Growth. Kind of awkward. I can't imagine how blocking that. So that's six with seven points of damage. We're missing a land, but.
Swiss Spear Bolt this attack him to four. Start a path. So Swiss Spear Path, and then my end is just the bolt stuff. So yeah, I mean, I probably could definitely come back. They have to draw discard spell this turn. Yeah, they didn't. So they drew like discard spell and then just played. I mean, I guess they don't have death shadow. Discard spell, flashback, lingering souls. I don't know. My, my opponent hasn't played super well. I'm just. I guess I should think about what's going on. Thanks to the host. Um. Matter. I'll just play all my stuff. Appreciate it. All right, we won again. <laughs> I think my opponent probably could have done a lot differently in that game, but take it, remember. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely not my typical deck. I don't love playing aggressive decks or burn decks, but um, yeah. I mean, this card hasn't really showed up yet. Actually, that's not true. I, I played against a pure steel deck that I was on the play. I killed him on turn three after they put a 216 into play. Um, we just like cast the darkest command with two other creatures in play and just exactly killed him. So. It's been decent, but yeah, I, th I think the best draws are when you don't have Bushwalk, Bushwhacker and you have Arcanist with Burning Tree, um, but Arcanist is good without Burning Tree, whereas Bushwhacker is basically only good with Burning Tree or Manamorphos. Um, these one-landers, just put the 20th land in. I'm on the draw. That's pretty disgusting, right? One drop into Burning Tree Arcanist and a Manamorphose Arcus Command, flash it back, Eugenic Growth. I can try it. Whatever. It beats most things if we draw a second land. That's greedy. Alright, I'm gonna get red green, I guess. I could have six in case they bolt my guy. Water agree, so that's a cover. Cool push. Right, so it's probably dash shadow again. I kept a pretty awful hand, so I get punished. Stubborn and Al Fatal Push type stuff. Potentially could just be like blue black, but it never is. <laughs> so they could just have like mana leak in another water grave. We'll see though. This game's gonna be tough. I think they're gonna play a Death Shadow this turn. I need a land. They have two cards. Maybe we can just like accidentally kill them. Um, do I want a shock? I don't think so. I have Manamorphose. I 
pick some of my mana. I'm not even going to use the Manamorphose for two reasons. But the first reason is stubborn and all. Don't another removal spell, so maybe we have a shot. They're pretty flooded. Could be like Colgon's command, stubborn denial. Tank another fetch land. Good eight. Hmm. Our hand having mutagenic growth of Arcanist is pretty strong, because it means we're gonna get the manamorphos either way, I think. Unless they have a way to kill this and they just haven't used it. But I think they would have done it at their end stop. So. I mean, they die. Oh, we got him. Does that force of negation? Play man morphos. Red and green. Three to them, pump our stuff. Um, then I'm going to attack, cast Manamorphose again, cast Darkest Command again, uh, and cast Mutagenic Growth. I don't even need to do that though, I guess I can just cast the Darkest Command. They would have to have Slaughter Pack to their hand, but they would already use it. So. Alright, well, I. <laughs> Maybe this deck's just great against Death Shadow or Death Shadow opponents that... Maybe it's just great against Death Shadow, I don't know. Um, so Voice I think is especially good versus the blue version. Um, I think I want to board the same way. So minus these. Could try my Bushwhacker. So Scrub Mage might be slightly better than Swiss Spear because I can shrink their stuff. Hmm. It's a weird idea, but I could see it making some sense. So bolt. Bolt's the only thing that can shrink their stuff. Nah, I think I just want, I want the burst damage when they're low. Probably should be using my bolts to go at their face anyway. So many one landers. Um. So the last time I'm only getting into hand like this, I sort of regret it, and then won. What that means exactly, but kind of want to keep it. We're against the blue version. What does that mean? Voice is really strong. Path is always going to be that card we want. Arcanist is really good with Path. Um, they have two one drops and a bolt. If they have a discard spell, what are they even taking? God, it's so greedy, but I, I get, this is another reason I don't, I don't really like playing these low land count decks because I don't know how to, how to keep these hands that like kind of function, but not really. Discard spell, which makes me feel a little better. Just means I'm gonna have more stuff to do. I have 
plenty of white sources. I have like three lands. One, two, three. Three lands that aren't white sources, so I'm just gonna get red green. I guess Nakatal makes the most sense if I'm going to top pick a land. It's still probably just better anyway, just do two. It's going to be hard to get prowess on this. So I made it so I, I'm less likely to have white by like just a tiny bit in the forest and the two mountains. But it means that if I miss on the land, I can play Soul Scar Mage and then potentially Lightning Bolt. Um, it, it's, I think it's fine. It, it's been, um, it's been exactly fine. I don't know what, like, where to describe it on the power level of two drops in modern, but like, it's sort of like Lotus Cobra voice of resurgence power level where it's like probably not good enough, but there are times where it's pretty strong. Um, it's, I don't think it's like Tarmago, or Stoneforge Mystic, or Confidant good. Alright, um, do I want to play two things? I think I want to play a voice while they have no mana. So. This card isn't super exciting in this matchup, but I think it's decent. I think it's worth having. Yeah, I, I'm. When I saw Dreadheart Arcanist, I thought of it as a card that was just gonna be good alongside uh, specifically cantrips, because like, there's there's diminishing returns on discard spells, right? Like if you just keep playing discard spells, eventually your opponent's not gonna have any spells. Um, but with cantrips, like you can keep the ball rolling. Um, the problem with it, like alongside cards like Jace French Prodigy and stuff, is it doesn't get value and it dies a large percentage of the time. So, all right, this is a pretty good exchange. I want Bushwhacker, that's, that's probably my best draw. Um, I guess I want to play my land. Just my deck out a little bit. And if they have a discard spell, I want to go cast Lightning Bolt. So. <laughs> I could have a Dryad Arbor in my deck, maybe that's good. Wouldn't be good here, but maybe it's decent to have just as a random 1-1 one -one and a card that works with Bushwhacker. Um, I did not, I, a friend and, uh, a friend and myself both played like a Marty Stoneblade deck, um, but we, we went like 3-2 in the GP and, uh, we were like gonna draw with a team which would have eliminated both of us, so we just gave him the win. But yeah, it, it didn't go super well, but the deck felt fine. I mean, we had like very average records with it, but it's just like a Thoughtseize deck in modern. Like, I, I had a game where I died on like turn three to an amulet opponent who played turn one amulet, turn two amulet. Um, and I, I think my friend won most of his matches, but our, our, our third player was playing like Grixis Death Shadow and just kept getting paired against Drawn and dying. But I think it's fine. Like, it's pretty cool with Stoneforge Mystic. Alright, so this game. So I need to draw. Yeah, I guess I need them to mess up more than anything. Does it matter if I go to 13? No cards. I think so. Holy shit. Wow. By alpha, I play these two spells and pump. It's before. It's barely not enough. Right? I want this to get to. I block Angler here, Death Shadow here, Death Shadow here. So they could block Angler on Elemental. So if they block Death Shadow here, Death Shadow here, I need this to get to 4 5. So this would be 1, 2, 3. It would be four or five. Angler eats 
this. But I bolt the angler, so this eats that. This eats that shadow, they lose these two. I think I'm supposed to attack with everything. What if they block angler on Soul Scar Mage? I bolt it. Darkest Command, these trades still. Yeah, okay, I think I should alpha. Really good draw. I don't think there's any way I'm killing myself. This is... This is four... Seven. Yeah, this is at least nine points of damage. They don't block everything. I think this is good. I missed something. Yeah. Yeah, I tried it in Jund, it wasn't bad. I had, I think I had one, and I, I tried it in like a Traverse Jund Death Shadow deck, and it was pretty good. Like, tutoring it came up every now and again. Yeah, yeah, if they don't block everything, they die. And I don't think they have blocks that are good based off of what I could do with Shrinking with the Soul Scar Mage. Um, so, I think I'm fine. Okay, they died. This represents four points, five, six, nine. <laughs> Wonder why they didn't block. All right, whatever. <laughs> We're three oh, you hit yippee. up so it happens dude I, I play like shit all the time it's also just hard to like scream and play <laughs> um I mean it sounds like an excuse and it is an excuse but it, there's a big difference than just like sitting inside your own head you know just going through everything process by process everything sort of like all your thought processes are linked they don't get detached and you know you don't you don't have to re-chat and do different stuff but yeah i mean everybody everybody messes up especially on moto especially while streaming but yeah my guess is arcanist isn't the best um but it's one of the many cards in Modern I just want to like try in different shells. See if there's anything that feels actually powerful or reasonable. Um, but I, I assume it's just a, a little too fair. Like against against the unfair decks, it doesn't maybe doesn't do a ton. Um, it can be good with discard spells against certain unfair decks, but against the fair decks it just like dies like half the time. Um, but there are worse cards, certainly. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of just like, I kind of just stole the bush Bushwhacker deck. Um, but I think the changes I made are definitely reasonable, right? Like, just having prowess creatures instead of, like, I don't have Goblin Guide, basically. I have Soulscar Mage instead, which maybe is worse. Um, but yeah, you have, like, mini Splinter Twin in Dreadhorde Arcanist, a Darkest Command, because you just get so much damage if you just have, like, a few other guys in play. Um, and... I think Burning Troop plays well enough with Arcanist and the rest of our cards. And you can also just like become a Mitra Arcanist and do other simple things like growth in it. But yeah, the next suite, I don't know about the sideboard. It's like pretty sloppy, but I think I think the card choices make a little bit of sense. Maybe the voices are too bad, maybe the teaks don't matter enough. But I wanted to try to utilize the light for something relevant. But maybe you just want Path. Path is nice because it kills um the pro white creatures or firework and stuff. Alright, we have a two lander. Wow, amazing. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not the best hand ever. We have Horse Charm Become Immense, but Become Immense is a ways away. Um yeah, I'm just gonna play Wild Con, I'll play Dreadhorde Arcanist, hope to play Darkest Command, and then maybe they'll die. Um, should I lead on Heath for any reason? If it matters a lot, so I'm just gonna play the McConnell. Oh, we're 3 0. Which 
just like clowned. Was it three Death Shadow decks? Two Death Shadow decks. I don't necessarily remember what the first round was, but. See, that seemed like pretty free matchups. Yeah, thanks. It's just, uh, it's just this. You go to this on YouTube. Hopefully these comments aren't awful. But it's, uh, lo-fi hip-hop. Pretty good beats. And it just plays. All day. And it's copyright free, which is nice. So you don't get your, your VODs muted. Serum missions go. So, yeah, if this dies, it's a little annoying, but I'm gonna get a white red land. Just pray to God they play a bunch of cantrips. If I was playing like an actual burn deck, I would consider just getting four damage here. Um, but we don't have. We have a lot of burn spells, we don't have like ridiculously high density. That's really nice to see. Electromancer? Okay. Um we'll have to jump. A lot of damage. I think they have to jump. I haven't done the math, but it looks like they have to jump. damage plus one plus one auto yield yeah this hand is strong damage plus one plus one I guess this just kills them anyway right yeah they're already dead they can't even jump or no yeah they take eight okay well we tried three kills again so we're, we're, I know somebody somebody made a comment that looks a blast when it works it worked that game <laughs> Always lucky, I guess. The storm. I just want Teague. Um, I think I want the paths. Maybe not. Probably unnecessary. Molten Rain could be okay. I think Molten Rain basically always sucks versus Storm. I think I just want Teague and nothing else. Comments is a Namo with T. I could leave in one. It does so much damage. Oh, nice. That's cool. I didn't even think of like looking for music on Twitch. All right. Um, I guess I'll just trim both of them. Sounds like a keep. Um, interaction and lock. They have turn one fire as well. So they probably have bull. Um, which means. Hmm. There's a few things I could do here. Um, for starters, I could potentially just not play a creature. And that is bad if I draw another one drop creature, but potentially good if I don't. For example, if they play, they play like a two drop and then I play Swift Spear and then bolt it and then attack them for two. Um, and then they leave a bolt and then I have Wild Nakata and the Bushwhacker, it's better. I guess I would bolt the two end step anyway, and then just play my two guys. So I think I should just probably play the creature and not overthink it. Um, so I'm going to play Stomping Ground and play Wild Battle. Okay, they didn't even have a bolt. Oh, that, their hand must be so bad. They kept seven? They kept seven with fire. Their hand must be so good? 
Huh. Well, they found Spiral Canal because they didn't have it. Is this empty for like a bunch? Free. Okay. I keep thinking things are gonna happen that are bad for me and then they'll be bad happen. My opponents die. Um. So I can Swift Spear, play a Bolt. The next turn I can Bolt Bushwhacker. I could just play a Tarkus Command. That seems bad. I could just do nothing as well. Play Swift Spear and then hope to draw one. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna hold yet. I guess I'm just playing a three mana two one. That's the case. Fuck him up, Bushwhacker. <laughs> we had two, hold on. I mean, they have a fire is lit. They're at 15. We have at least nine points of damage in our hand. <laughs> okay. Kill him at two, one. and some other shit. I think I should go for it. didn't have lethal. <laughs> and then I top tapped it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't count chat. Alright, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm so sorry, opponent. Maybe every man. I <laughs> oh my god. I'm so lucky. Wow. I I don't want to talk about it. Alright, we won. We're 4-0. We're playing for the 5-0. <laughs> um, Big Monkey, I don't really know how to fix that. Um, I, I thought that I had it set up correctly. We are 4-0. Um, I don't really know how to redo that command. Um, let me try to find... <laughs> yeah, I don't... First off, I'm incredibly lucky. So us being 4-0 means nothing. Um... But I think the deck's also fine. This is what we're playing. Um. <laughs> just like for some reason, just... You know, my opponent's at 15, this is 12 damage, that's exactly lethal. What I meant to say was, after I draw a lightning bolt, it's exactly lethal. But yeah. Either way, we win. That means, that means I'm a great player, because I won the game. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I want to like try to reset the bot command, but like the, the the name that shows up is exactly my moto name. So I don't know if it's an issue with on their, their part or my part or like, I don't know exactly why it doesn't work, but it does not work. Um, try to find MTG bot.
I guess I need to do that. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it. Cause it says it says that exactly what my name is at, already added, but it, every time you ask for the record, it uh, says I'm not playing. I don't know if there's something I have to link maybe on MTG Bot that I don't know about. That would make sense. Um, but I don't know how to do that. So all right, we're playing for the 5-0. Uh, we got to start, so that's good. Yeah, this hand, this hand's good. We have Arcanist, Mutagenic Growth, and some stuff, so I'm gonna keep. Naughty Boy, 1990. Oh, this deck, I hate Amulet Chat. I hate it so much. Oh, it's a strong word, but I really do hate it. All right, so should I use all my Manamorphosis now to hope to find Burning Tramissary? I think so. Um, sandbagging them is only good prowess creatures, so I'm just gonna use them. So my green, red. Red, green. Um, I could do an extra three points this turn, but I think it's better to just have the Arcanist. So I, I really want a Tarkus command. Um, that's about it. I think Tarkus command is the card I want the most. I I just hate big mana combo decks. Like I mean I don't know. Like it, it's cool I guess for the amulet player, but like I don't know. I I kind of hate the style of decks I'm playing too. To be fair, that's really annoying. So their second turn, okay. Um, but I, I don't like just randomly dying to a player who drew two amulets. It's kind of frustrating. All right, well I drew the nuts. Can I kill them? Close, but I don't think I can. Let's think about it. I guess I just don't like big mana decks. I don't know exactly what it is. Okay, so I cast this. What do they want to block? They want to block Wild Nakatl. I cast this here, and then I recast it on itself. They block Wild Nakatl. They take 4, 4, 3, 11. Go to 6. Doesn't make a difference, right? But they could just go to 2 and keep the Azusa. I should still do it. Trying to think if there's just something I'm missing. I don't want a five, so I want it here and here. Is there a best way to force the chunk? No, I want this to not trade. Yeah. Okay.
they're at six. All of our spells we draw, except for, I become a mint is good enough, right? So I just need to draw a spell. Even if I don't draw a spell, it's not that bad, right? They eat my 3-3, three, three, this blocks my 2-1. Go 3. Oh, okay, that's actually really good. Oh, we still have a lot of live outs. Hmm, now my attacks aren't good, right? I'm gonna end up losing this game. That sucks. Fallen Sam was pretty strong though. Our our hand was amazing too, but and we drew well. We think so. I attack with everyone. This goes here. This goes here. This jumps here. Pick one wheel five. If three five versus my board of one three two two. They block Arcanist. This chumps. This trades. Then my board is 3 3 2 2. I guess it's worse for me. I need the Arcanist in play. So I don't think I should attack because I don't want my Arcanist to die. And if I just attack with these three creatures, this gets eaten, this gets traded, and then this gets chumped, which is also bad for me. So yeah, I'm just going to play my land and hope. I hope that I can top deck next turn, I guess. cards left. It costs what? Titan. Titan, bounce land, bounce this. Get another 0-1 maybe. Unless there's something I'm missing. They're going to give it haste and vigilance. Then they wouldn't get an 0-1. I guess that doesn't matter, though. Oh, they have Radiant Fountain in their deck. Wow. They didn't get it. Wow. So if I just drew any spell that deals 3, they would have died to the Dreadar Arcanist. Since they got the Colony Garden instead of Radiant Fountain. So now I need... I need nothing. I'm just dead. Yeah, I guess I guess part of my frustration with this deck is just how inconsistent it is. Like the games you lose to it, it's just like it's so frustrating. And the games you beat it, it just does absolutely zero things. Like it just does zero things and flops over. But I don't know. It's probably irrational, but I really dislike the amulet deck. I hate playing against it so much. Right, so we're dead. I guess I'll just draw. Really close game. Um, any spell would have killed my opponent because the Arcanist. Except for Boros Charm. Boros Charm wouldn't have killed my opponent. But all my burn spells would have. Creature would have done nothing. Yeah. Alright, we're dead. Boo. Alright, so we're down a game. Land for the 4 0. I don't have much for this matchup. Um, I'm going to board in my Molten Reigns on the play, maybe not on the draw, and I guess I want my Smashes. Um, Teague, Nine Creature Spells, four or greater. Yeah, it doesn't do shit. And I could have Path for Primeval Titan, but I think it's just much better for of me to just try to kill them. Um, I could even not have the Smashes or Molten Reigns. It might be correct to just not sideboard. Um... It's more likely I lose to the card Amulet than anything else. And they have Golos in their deck. Maybe I just want the Smashes. Like, Molten Rain kind of sucks versus the deck. They just have the stupid Snake, or, like, it doesn't matter if you Stone Rain them because they have Amulet. Try the Smashes. I can even flash them 
back, I guess, with Dreadheart Arcanist. I, want, I want every single one drop creature. I just want everything that makes it so I can goldfish them. Because um, I think my nut, my like exact nut draw beats their exact nut draw. Um, if I'm on the play, maybe I don't beat double amulet. I guess I'll be double amulet. Double amulet. Um, I'm gonna trim become immense and metamorphose. Or do I just not want the boros charms because the reach doesn't matter? Try this. I don't know. I've cast many full minor mages against amulet killing bounce lands, and it was not particularly relevant. All right. I need spells, but this is four creatures in play in the second turn. So. Tarkus command will just kill them on the third turn. Uh, I'm gonna get. Stopping ground, I guess. <laughs> so we want Bushwhacker, we want any spell. It's really annoying. Okay. Blocking every time. Guess I'll make him do it. <laughs> we are playing for the 5 0 after all. I think we're dead, chat. I need to fade Azusa, basically. I need to fade. Amulet plus bounce lands. Even like certain sideboard cards that gain life. You draw a spell. Yeah, alright, we lost. We lost. GG's. Sucks. Amulet's the best deck. What can I say? Wins every tournament. I can't beat it. I guess I wait. I'm, I'm far enough behind that I think I'm just gonna assume I'm drawing a one mana spell, so. And I lose one point, basically. And you have Azusa. Of course, of course. Um, I'm gonna get Primeval Titan next turn. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'll just pretend that they literally have nothing. I, I, I can't even, like, they have like a million turns to draw. Yeah, we're just at Teleria West, Primeval Titan, Summer Pact. Five points go to fourteen. I think next one they're gonna play for Evil Titan. I cannot imagine this opponent not having Prime Evil Titan in their hand. But maybe not. Walking by so does this. I really wanna concede. They play a bounce, so their hand is... What do I need to draw now? I have to like two for one myself on this because they're not gonna care. Yeah. GG's. Alright, well, we lost. I tried. I, I did not expect to get as far as we did with this deck. But yeah, we went 4-1. Um, we got crushed by Amulet Titan in the finals, but like, 
There's just not, there's like nothing you can do against that deck. Like, it just is not a deck that has counterplay. If you try to have discards, like you just have to counter their stuff or their deck has to fail them. Otherwise you just die. Like, even if you have discard spells, the deck's just so good at top decking out of it. Um, I think that matchup is probably pretty good for us. I think on average, they don't do what they do. Um, and our goldfish is pretty strong and it's important to be able to goldfish decks like that. So I think that that matchup is not bad. Um, and then, yeah, the Death Shadow matchups weren't remotely close. I don't know if my opponents played super well, but kind of just rolled them over. Um, so what are the strengths of this versus Burn? It kills people faster, I guess. Um, the weaknesses are it's just weaker to discard. It's weaker to spot removal. Uh, probably just a worse Burn deck, but maybe better than Burn if you expect a combo heavy metagame. Uh, but it was a sweet try. I don't really know what I would change. Um, kind of would probably just run it back. Uh, I didn't really get to see much become immense, but it got boarded out a lot. I think the Boros Charms are better than Lightning Helix. I don't think I want a fourth Arcanist. I think I like three. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would change much. Like, maybe you could make a become immense immediate growth. Just to be a little safer and just tweak the sideboard. Um, but I think I like, for like the expected metagame of Burn, Scapeshift, Tron, and Urza, and like whatever Blue Stoneforge decks, I think I like this sideboard. Um, or at least something similar to it. So yeah. That was sweet. I mean, I, I don't find playing decks like this super interesting. Like, this is, like, kind of cool, but at the end of the day, it's just, like, you know, you just slam your head on the table and move forward until you learn to lose. Um, yeah, all right, let's open some chests, and then that's going to be it tonight. I, I, I know I said I was going to do a short stream when I tweeted, and that's what I plan to do. It's, I think most Mondays are probably going to be short streams. Um, 45 play points, not bad. Uh, but I'll be back tomorrow, and it'll definitely be a longer stream. Tweak mana. I right, sorry, sorry, Big Monkey. I wasn't reading chat. All right, one second. I don't, two forty-five play points. It's not bad. It's not like super exciting, but it's a lot of play points. Worldly tutor. I think this is like a ticket. So who? That might be something. Higher. I know the, the denial one was worth something. tickets probably not that much right buy price 6.57 that's not bad i'll take that that's another good one these are pretty good chests relatively speaking 25 play points and some shitty goblin all right cool all right let me read what you said really quick play bm if you're trying to beat titan and shift oh blood man Are you good? Are you okay, friend? Do you need help? Do I want Bloodman in my sideboard? That seems pretty terrible. I'm a wild in the cattle deck. I don't think I want Bloodman. Alright, um... Yeah, that's it. Um, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you. Sorry it was a short stream. I know it kind of sucks. But I'm just gonna chill. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know what I 